a lovely presentation. When we've learned all that we need to learn about the coming of Jesus Christ. But I am going to speak a little bit about Christmas. Because I think in the 21st century and in the 20th, we lost a lot of good things about Christmas. The word Christmas we've seen many times. We think we know what it means, and if we listened and watched carefully tonight, we do know what it means. But somehow, we've changed this word. We've hidden someone. We've taken, many of us, we've taken the Christ out of Christmas, and that changes things quite a bit. And as it said in, someone said in the play, or during the narration, Christmas has become a festival celebrated throughout the world. And in many ways, that's wonderful. But I wonder how we celebrate it. I've noticed, by listening to the radio and to television, that this is the time where businesses make most money. So even in the time of recession, the companies that make toys, Christmas cards, Christmas crackers, decorations, are going to make a lot of money. And so are the shops that sell them. Nothing wrong with Christmas toys, nothing wrong with decorations. But perhaps in the busyness of doing this, people don't see or hear about the good side of Christmas. They don't have the joy or the peace that the Christ child brings. So it's not bad to make an honest profit in business. But how lovely if people also got the blessing of the joy and the peace that Christ brings. Just about a week before I came here, BBC reporters were out in the streets of Newcastle interviewing people. Everywhere in the UK it's about the recession. So they were asking people about Christmas. Are you still going to spend money? And they interviewed lots of families and they gave quite interesting answers. The first family said, well, I, I better not do a Newcastle accent, I'm not very good at it. They said, Christmas, Christmas is for the children, of course we'll be spending money. You've got to give them presents, you've got to give them lots of things. The next family said, Oh yes, we'll still be spending not a lot of money on presents, but we'll be spending on food and drink. So they were looking to lots of looking forward to lots of parties and lots of lovely things to eat. And one of my friends overheard two teenage boys speaking. And this was in England. And one said to the other, which baby? was in the bulrushes. Was it Jesus or was it Moses? So they'd obviously not heard about the joy and the love that Jesus Christ brings at Christmas. Now I'm putting myself in the next category. I've escaped the bad bit of Christmas for me and for many mothers and women in preparing for Christmas. They worry about, have they got enough food? Have they got all the presents? Have they enough room in the house for the family? And if they're Christians, they'll be saying that. Have they got time to go to church on Christmas Eve? Will I manage to go to Christmas Day service? Will I be able to do this? And even though they're believers, they've taken the Christ out of Christmas and filled it with worry. So we can do these things to ourselves. And I'm 
was working with one or two children in Standard 4, making some pictures which I have to show you because they relate to the nativity play and the singing. And I've got some people who are coming to help. I know you won't be able to see the details from the distance. But in the middle we've got the star and we've got the manger and we've got the whole word, the word Christmas around that because the birth of Jesus bringing love and joy and peace is the main part of Christmas. And we've got other people who've come to see him. The shepherds who came or who went to see him weren't like those clean shepherds tonight. They'd have dirty, ragged clothes and they probably smelt a bit of sheep. And I don't think they had any showers where they were because they were out on the loose side. So the poorest of people were chosen to go and see this special baby. So he's for the poor. And on the other hand, the wise men or the magi or the kings, they searched and followed the star because they knew that when they got there, they would find an important person. And I hope as we enjoy all aspects of this holiday that's coming, and it's not wrong to have lovely food, it's not wrong to, wrong to have parties or Christmas crackers or any of these things, but the main thing that will give us a joyful and peaceful Christmas will be to have Christ at the centre. Thank you. We have now come to the end of our Christmas programme. We would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas.